Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morden Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement? No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Good morning. I'm expecting you. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now, see you around.
say something, Commander. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? We do not trust you. Captain Gavorn, we know his tricks. We do not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thugs get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Place. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to? Does it really matter? No. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. This looks interesting. you and some salvage tech every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock I buy a lot of parts and equipment maybe we can make an arrangement well you seem like a decent person but you can't breathe a word if it's a hair of course then we have a deal maybe I'll at least sell something to you what brought a nice kid like you to Omega my pilgrimage what money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. 1,000 credits. Get out of here. I... thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. I'll take it. Gavorn, head of the Vorcha task force. Got something to report? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. What's your job here exactly? 
Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. Oh boy. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. Arya's expecting me. Drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Not taking any chances. Close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solas. You know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant. And dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. 
You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Light on galactic fury. You, sir, you're a blight. You, and you, you, and you. Complaining is pointless, human. That I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. 
Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Sure thing. Taking cover! Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. Good luck in there. Blue Sons and Vortra shooting anything that moves. Corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Bastards see us in this room. Said we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. 
Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it! Damn you! Can't... <coughs> hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <coughs> oh, you... You helped me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> you were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Sons controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. I should go. Goodbye, human. Charge him up!
Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control, and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. 
It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Make sure you clear a good path for us. Don't want to get shot on the way to Morden's clinic. I'll take it. Say, we found this stuff, it's ours. Now ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing.
No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Done. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the- Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Professor, we're running low on toxin. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping as it Supplement with butemerol. Now that's all the butemerol. Got it. Senesine is the captain's Toxic to humans, not an option, not an option. Professor Morden Solis? Hmm, don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Forja. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forja territory looking for victims. <sighs> Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? 
cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorja working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Relief. Warden says you humans aren't to blame for the plague. This clinic is a On our way here, we saw humans moving in permanent Still alive! Get a blow! Tell you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That's your job. Don't move. One more step and we we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? 
professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. <laughs>